Uh, so on the 6th, he had threatened to slash my tires before leaving work. He told me, if you go outside and your tires are slashed, it's because I didn't do my side work and laughed at me. The next thing that happened was the 14th. Uh, like I said, Kyle told him to leave work early because he had been harassing me at work. Judge, but I don't know why Kyle told him to leave early. Were you asked to leave early? You know what? It's There's times that... <laughs> no, bear with me. There's times don't, you can don't, leave don't, I'm not bearing with you. Okay. He's a very specific date. Yeah. On October 14th, did Kyle, not because you asked him to leave early, but because of some sort of kerfuffle that happened that day, did Kyle tell you to leave early? No. no. Okay. So now we're at the 14th. Yeah, the, um, the 14th, uh, he, like I said, he was... Asked to leave early, long story short, he came back after work in street clothes, not in his uniform or anything, and continued to harass me off the clock. Well, just tell me what he said. Harassing is a conclusion. He walked by me and said, oh, I think there's a dent in your car door, and said, you should go check your tires, too, and walked by me and went into the restroom at our work. I went directly back to my manager's office where Kyle was and told Kyle of the incident, and he came out and waited with me. I didn't want to be around, so he waited there alone. I left. Uh, Tyler Tyler came back, Kyle said, dude, what are you doing on the clock? Long story short, Tyler became very aggressive and said, I'm a customer, you can't tell me to leave. I'm just here trying to get some food. Kyle said, I can tell you to leave. You've been harassing my employee now off the clock and I told you to leave earlier and you came back. Kyle had to use his, like raise his voice and threaten to call the police to get Tyler to leave the building. That was the 14th. On the 20th, I was closing, so I was going to be there till about 1 a.m. And he arrived at 4 p.m. in the afternoon, so he was going to be one of the first ones to leave. So he's leaving. You said and I didn't work that day earlier. Let me tell you something about temper. Mm -hmm. If you can't control yourself after I've told you to control yourself twice, and you're in a courtroom, and I'm sitting next to Bird, <laughs> then the possibility of being able to conjure up in my mind you're losing your temper and harassing her has just been elevated. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes, ma'am. Good. Okay. Now, I want to get to the point where you filed for a protective order. And at that time, after you filed for a protective order, he had already been allowed to resign, correct? Yes, ma'am. And you retained an attorney? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, at the time that you retained him, how much of a retainer did you give him? $1,000. Did you ever give him any more money than the $1,000? There was binding if we won, lost, but no, never more than that. What do you mean it was binding if you won or lost? What does that oh, mean? Oh, I'm sorry. There could have been other fees had we lost. So it, it was, um, this is how much to retain, and then there could have been other fees depending on the outcome of the case. Well, that's ridiculous. I never heard of anything so stupid. This is not a case that involves getting you money. This is a civil proceeding that either ends after a trial or a consent judgment or a consent termination of the case. So $1,000 was for what? Retaining and representation. On the protective order? Yes. On the protective that. order? Yes. Now, did you also discuss with him representing you in a wrongful termination case or, as you say, deformation case? Um, Did you discuss it with him? Against the defendant here, not my employer. Um, I have, this is him threatening to sue me and Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, Can I see that, please? He posted in our group chat on Facebook that servers have to give up shifts and switch shifts with people. I had not so, retained counsel when Just I a second. That's not what I asked you. That was your intent. Not to sue her. She didn't have any money. But to sue Buffalo Wild Wings, because that's what it says. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Now, so the lawyer said, I'll represent you in this protective order, because mm -hmm. based upon what happens in this protective order thing, we'll see if you got any case against Buffalo Wild Wings or Lauren. There's no question in my mind. Correct. Okay? Let's understand that. Okay. 